Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurophysician from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the books Focus Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very important topic the positive and negative symptoms. The positive and negative system, negative symptoms, the concepts of sensory system part 2. So positive and negative symptoms. First let's talk about the positive symptoms. Abnormal sensory symptom, symptoms can be divided into two categories positive and negative. The prototypical positive symptom is tingling, pins and needles sensation. Positive phenomenon usually result from trains of impulses generated at sites of lowered threshold or heightened excitability along a peripheral or central sensory pathway. Because positive phenomenon represent excessive activity in the sensory pathways, they are not necessarily associated with the sensory deficit on examination. A very important point which differentiates positive and negative symptoms. Because positive phenomenon represent excessive activity in sensory pathways, they are not necessarily associated with the sensory deficit on examination. Now let's talk about the negative phenomenon. Negative phenomenon represent loss of sensory function and are characterized by diminished or absent feeling that often is experienced as numbness and abnormal findings on sensory examination. So negative phenomenon will have abnormal findings on sensory examination. In disorders affecting peripheral sensation, at least one half of the afferent axons that is 50% of axons innervating a particular site are probably lost before a sensory deficit can be demonstrated by clinical examination. Whereas sensory symptoms may be either positive or negative, sensory signs on examination are always a measure of negative phenomena. So these are all the important concepts of positive and negative phenomenon. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these concepts. The other important concepts of clinical neurology I have put in a book called Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. This book contains all chapters which will be very useful for clinical neurology exams. The other important I have written, I have written is Focus Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. This book contains all the important, important concepts of neurology in a question and answer format which will be useful especially for orals or viva exam. This book is available on online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. So if interested this book could be purchased online. So I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of positive and negative phenomenon. If you have enjoyed it please like and share the link but please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my BPH, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.